All right, traders, good afternoon. This is Christian from Hertz Talk Back at Trade Group, and it is Wednesday, January 19th. So we'll make today's video kind of a, a bit shorter and just to the point. Um, there's not really much new to kind of talk about um, other than, you know, more support levels are being breached. Um, here's what I put for the theme of the day and the in the midday video. So just basically watching and waiting and, and trying not to really um, get too much more involved in this market as it is. Um, you know, currently we are, you know, trying to kind of look for some short opportunities where they are there in the trading room. Uh, you know, there's a number of things that you can kind of look at. I, one in particular is IWM, which is the one that I've been playing to the downside. But um, you have to be careful with those trades too, because, um, you know, eventually the, <laughs> at least I believe, uh, eventually the market will kind of snap back a little bit and, you know, where are we right now in the in the in the evolution of selling that is going on right now? Well, I don't think anybody really knows the answer to that. One of the things that I was looking at in the S and P chart is the bottom of value, which was uh, forty five fifty five. It was the level that I was talking about for you know kind of coming into today and um, throughout the trading session, and we did hold there until about the last trading hour of the session, and then just decisively broke it um, once again with just more selling pressure, and the selling pressure just continues to be fierce. Um, there doesn't seem to be any change at all in terms of what we're seeing, um, you know, whether it's we start a little bit up for the day, whether it's we start down for the day, um, there is just more liquidation and more distribution. So it's a game right now um, of, you know, just trying to basically not get yourself more exposed than if you already have some positions. I still have a few positions on. I've been kind of, uh, you know, getting stopped out of positions one by one. Um, and it's a painful process, uh, you know, without any relief, you know, without any um, place to kind of be able to kind of sell into, into a bounce. So it's been a very difficult market in 2021, uh, 2022, excuse me. Look at the numbers over here on the right side for your year-to-date performance. S&P down 5%, Qs are down 8% year-to-date. IWM is down a touch more than that. Um, not to pick on ARC, I just I have them listed here, but you could also see the IBD50 uh, ETF is not faring much better. Down That's down 14% versus ARC now 20% year-to-date. So that's coming pretty quickly. Growth is, um, you know, certainly taking the brunt of this, but I can now actually put value in red too here because value was holding up. But this is how a lot of these sell-offs do work. Is usually there there is an, an area or two that is um, that's holding up pretty decently. But in the end, it, you know, if they decide and, and it kind of feels like I don't know if it's the start of everything being sold or you know where we are in the process. And I think right now you just basically have to watch and wait. And, um, you know, take the stops as, as they're coming. Um, that's how I'm trying to handle that. Um, I will talk about what the kind of the, the, the positive was for the day, um, or at least the positive that I see something moving up rather than moving down um, was gold, right? And this is something that we kind of talked about that it could that gold could be a trade for 2022. So um, before we do that, I just wanted to show that I really don't have any major support here other than you know where we were on the beginning of 12 uh, December, right? That would kind of be the next area to watch. I don't have anything on the S&P chart, right? So here's, I think that's here, um, 12.1, or no, excuse me, uh, this is, uh, what date is this? Twelve seventeen. So here is probably the you know the support where we where we um, are probably going to see next at this point, um, but that's not really lining up very well on some other time frames. If that if that gets um, if that does that get violated, then I think you got to look at the two hundred day moving average next, which is basically in here. All right? Those are possible levels. I'll kind of go through that. Um, a little bit further in detail. NASDAQ or, you know, reminder, I, see, I saw some questions about this. Um, this is NASDAQ 100. This is not the whole NASDAQ, right? Whenever we're looking at NASDAQ futures, it is the 100, right? It's just the, the, the 100 names in the, um, in the NASDAQ known as the NDX, right? Well, this is down to the 200 day moving average and we're just seeing more breakdowns, right? I don't think I have to go uh, stock by stock, but there's just sell signals, um, a lot of sell signals, you know, in, in these charts. Um, so two, the 200 day moving average will be next. Um, 
there might be something down here too that's a little bit further, which is another version point of control. Um, that's at 14722. Um, but um, you know, again, we, we this was the one level that I was talking about too in the pre-market session. I said, you know, we're going to know what kind of day we're going to have. Um, you know, right from the start, because we were kind of pushing into the bottom of value. Um, notice um, and something that we talked about too, and how to use these value areas um, is a break of value, retest, and a failure. Right. So we we got the the retest and the failure. Right. That's often how you can kind of use to short. And on the flip side, when we're breaking out, when you get a retest back into the top of value, that is also a, a you know a good usually a pretty good signal on the long side. Let's talk about small caps here just for a minute. They continue to move down. Um, we did talk about how, you know, this was saved by, um, you know, just barely saved on on uh, on Friday. And now this is decisively moving lower. Uh, this is one of the shorts that, or one of the few shorts, I should say, that, that I have on. I don't think I have anything else on right now on, on the short side, but um, this is just, it's a pretty easy look. And for me, who would be someone where I, I've kind of for a while lost the muscle memory of, of being able to short things, um, you know, I've been trying to do that more and more, um, you know, to participate to the, in the downside in, in some of these areas. But that's, you know, something that we, we at least kind of plan for a little bit. And I put that trade on Friday. Um, you could see um, how, whoops, how I basically did not do much for the day. Um, but you could see that, um, you know, I got stopped out of the trade that I put on yesterday, uh, you know, and I, I was even like, sorry, I'll get to gold in just a second. But I was even saying with this down three, three and a half percent today, you know, and, and the, the more that you can honor your stops right now, uh, you know, I continue to try trades and it has not been a, a great result of trying trades. But, you know, I, I try my best to kind of honor the stops and, and to see this go from where it was yesterday um, just tells you what kind of market that, that we're in. Um, so where did I sold this at 221? Um, it's down another four dollars, went all the way to the bottom of value. You know, there there was something else that I brought up in the room earlier, which I'll just keep this very brief. Um, yesterday, I sold out of Ford. Yesterday, why did I sell out of Ford yesterday? Just because it didn't get hit yet. Right, Ford was down. Ford was down eight percent. You know, it's that's not a great trading strategy to just sell things just because they haven't gotten hit yet. But I kind of feel like that's the market that we're in yet. I'm taking off winners just because they may be the next ones that get hit, right? So that was one of my positions that I was actually holding for, you know, since since this breakout back in here, um, and this that one I got a little bit lucky. I just said, you know what, it's not it's not worth it holding a name that people they're just coming in and just hitting names right now. Um, what else? So let me let me go over. Um, NRG was kind of the same concept. Um, I've been holding NRG for about uh, a week or so. And it just wasn't doing anything. And there's no point in keeping these trades on at this point with as weak as the market is when, um, you know, you kind of have to pick and choose what, what you're going to hold versus what you think is going to get hit next. All right. Um, so here, here was the IWM trade. I took the, I'm not holding till Friday for this one. I just decided to roll it to next week. All right. So that's a uh, debit put spread um, and GLD. So let, let's talk about this. Um, you know, We'll spend just a minute or two here, but gold, um, you know, take taking a look at this daily chart. Um, the one thing that I would like to see, you know, again, this was a this was a big day. If you were holding into today, um, it'll be it's a bigger day in the um, in the gold miners. But look at the pattern here, and it's not a perfect pattern. But here was your high twenty eighty nine, way back I think a couple of years ago on the daily chart. Here is your high of twenty eighty nine, um, lower high just about a lower, another lower high here, another lower high, uh, definitely another lower high here. So gold, you know, if you feel like, oh, geez, I missed the move in gold today because they were buying a lot of call options and a lot of gold miners, this has not moved, this is not triggered yet for me um, from a technical basis. And I go back to the, um, to the weekly chart, I'm looking for a break of 1854, right? So again, why are these value areas important, right? Because we're, we're looking at, uh, we're looking at price, volume, and time and coming up with significant levels around there. So um, I did put on a kind of my preemptive position um, because you've got a little bit of a distance before you get to that. And I would like to have something on so I don't feel totally late. 
Um, and if it happens to be that this stalls out here, that's fine. The gold miners um, have a different look to them. The gold miners are at the bottom of value. So this you could actually play if you wanted to for a move all the way to the top of value, right? And GDXJ does not look too different, right? That is, uh, that's that one. Um, same thing, you know, right into the bottom of value, you could use like a $40, $50 stop and maybe play for this through the top of value, taking some profits. Um, along the way, because I'm just looking at the weekly chart. What's a little bit more construct, what my favorite name in the group is Newmont, right? It's just acting so much better. Uh, this was a name that I actually tried about, um, I don't know, I think it was, it could have been somewhere in here, I'm forgetting, but in any event, I gave up on the trade um, once it kind of started to kind of move back in here and then it fell apart and then it's been kind of building since then and you got this nice move which is generally what i like to see is is a big gap over a previous version point of control that was taken out um, that's probably the best outcome that you could have for that so um 68 is a level that i could get to and then ultimately 71 but again a much cleaner looking uh move here not inside value not on the bottom of value but actually above and you got some nice things to kind of um, that 71 is very close to what the same thing is on the on the weekly. So that weekly chart lines up very well for Newmont. So that's that's my favorite name right now. And um, for now, um, what, what another just tidbit? I've been trying to kind of share things uh, because this is not a sell off that we've that I feel like we we've, we've seen that frequently. I think this has been a little bit different. You know, starting the year off this way has been difficult. Um, I, I just want to say, you know, in terms of if, if you're struggling with this market right now, just know that it's, you know, it, it's not you and and your level of, you know, how great you're finding setups or how fit, how great you're finding winners. There's the the odds are stacked against you when you have a market like this. So it's not about how how great of a trader you are. It's about how great of a risk manager you are you are in this situation and just backing off when when the um, when the situation has just gotten you know worse and worse. So so going back to kind of the theme of the day, you know, for longs and putting new money to work, um, it's just watching and waiting and and waiting for things to just look a little bit better. Um, I often I get I got that question the other day about hey well what exactly would 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 be um, you know positive well we kind of look at this on a daily basis you know on for for instance on the five minute bar and in, in S and P you know one of the things that I said was you know okay I you know this is the same thing that we've seen time and time again sell off on the uh, you know starting at like ten o'clock around there right and then we kind of um, stabilized and pushed back and I said okay well, you know I, I, I'll Try to be optimistic and, and, gla and glass uh, half full and just look for this to kind of break the 4590 level top of value for the day and then to kind of build from there. And you just see that we just we don't have the power to do that. And I was like, OK, let me start with my list of things that I'm interested in, you know, for instance, like like an NEWR. And we just don't have the power right now. Um, and it's it's crazy how it's just every name is doing this. That is growth or even a lot of the value names too, right? You know, 108.21 was a level that I said, hey, if we close above, I'm happy to buy this above the 50-day moving average. Nope. And it's getting rejected, you know, right where you think it needs to make the turn. So for now, just have to sit and be patient. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.